welcome back and welcome to Powerhouse Sunday, I suppose. Today we're looking at the new cigar from Roma Craft. This is the Neanderthal LH. Four and three fourths by 56, a nice sharp box press. There's your density. Actually has a pretty good feel for a four and three fourths inch cigar. Now I said powerhouse Sunday because this cigar is reportedly to have two to three times the amount of La Hero than the standard uh, Neanderthal uh, line. The, the, the This has been around since 2014. It started out with the uh, the brand as a Neanderthal, and it was the HN, and it was one size, and that was it for a while. And then uh, went through several other popular uh, changes, uh, different type sizes, and what have you. But this cigar is, uh, the difference in this cigar and the others is it uses uh, large amounts of a La Hero. With it, the nicotine level is significantly higher. So <clears throat> you can read all about the different uh, tobaccos used and what have you on the blog, and I urge you to do that. Uh, this uses a Mexican San Andreas wrapper, a U.S. Connecticut broadleaf binder, Nicaraguan, Dominican, and Pennsylvanian filler. As I said, it comes in one size only, four and three fourths by 56 box press, and it's nice and sharp. Really nice. Even the uh, top is just flat. It's just, it's just a block, you know? So let's get right to it. The uh, new Romacraft Neanderthal LH. A nice flat target. What do you think about that? Look at that's that's the the cap. Hmm. And I took that flat head cap off. Sort of remin reminiscent of some of the uh, the CAO flathead cigars, isn't it? Not to mix reviews or companies, but that's what it reminds you of. Draws good. First flavors are a little chocolate, citrus, again, some citrus peel, some brown sugar, leather, nutmeg, not a leathery nutmeg, but leather and nutmeg. They seem separate. And uh, black coffee, black pepper at roughly seven and a half. Not as much as you might think. There is a lot of... Actually, the leather and the uh, orange peel type flavor. I can't tell you how many cigars I've had that flavor in this year. This is yet another one, but I, they seem to be combining. So it's a leathery orange peel. You know what the, that flavor is, right? If you have an orange and you peel it, stick the peel in your mouth and taste the underside of it. That's it. Um, but it's, it's uh, it tastes like it has a little power, all those flavors working together. But uh, you don't feel anything yet, of course. But anyway, that's a pretty good start. Roma Craft is no joke. They make good stuff. So let's see how we progress into the first third. the first third and the cigar is really settled down nicely you don't have so much of that orange peel flavor which i gotta be honest with you, that's not the greatest flavor on earth 
just sort of bitter. It's, I mean, like I said, stick an orange peel, uh, orange peeling in your mouth one day and see. But it's really smoothed out. Can I say that? You don't have an extreme amount of chocolate either. There's some there, but it's, I mean, for all this Maduro wrapper, you just don't really have a lot of, it's not, a, it's not an excessive amount of chocolate or black coffee, but it's not, the, the flavors are starting to sort of meld together. Um, the uh, orange peel flavor is toned down some, the leather may be cutting the edge off of it. But it's very nice. Uh, you know, right now, I would call it a high-grade medium to full. I mean, it's, it's going to get there, but it's, you know, first third, it's right there. The finish has a little nutmeg. Almost like a residual. There's a smooth sweetness. Not as sweet as caramel, but just a little smooth. Maybe this, uh, you know what it is? It's chocolate. And it's just uh, like a semi-sweet chocolate. It's not very sweet. Yep, that's what it is. But the cigar is extremely good. Um, it, it's better now than it was when it started. I like saying that when it's true. <laughs> But the first third, I'd rate 95. I mean, it's extremely tasty. The front end flavors are really good. Now, short cigar, let's see if we can hold it. See what we have in the second third. End of the second third. And a uh, curious thing, uh, as you know, Neanderthal bands are actually two bands around each other. The uh, orangish band is on top of the white band, so I'm going to try to negotiate that and get it off. Uh, both of them in one piece. Nope, oh, looks like I'm starting to have some success. But what I was going to tell you is the uh, chocolate notes have really come out here in the, in the second third. There's the orange band. I'll try to work on the white band here. And those orange peel notes have kind of risen their little bitter heads up a little bit too. I neglected to say in the last segment that there are also cinnamon notes now. And there are. I'm going to have to work on this, I guess, after, after I cut the film off. But there are nice little cinnamon notes. The cigar is now, I would call, full-bodied. But it's not knocking me down. But I don't care about getting a Lahiro buzz anyway, so I'm smoking it very slowly. So, the chocolate notes are nice. They, they finally came out. But with it, that orange peel. Now, there is brown sugar attached to it. Light cinnamon. Um, you know, citrus notes there. Kind of starting to taste more like cedar. And black coffee. We'll call it full bodied. Finish has nice chocolate notes. Maybe a dribble of, of citrus to give it some. Uh, yeah, just a dribble. I mean, you can get a little bit of a citrus flavor with that chocolate. Nutmeg. Lingering black pepper is very good. But for me, the cigar took just a slight little turn. I'm going with 94 for the second third. So, we don't have a lot left. I've got to get this other white band off. Let's see what we have in the final third. wrap it up the old perfect draw tool comes in handy again the cigar did a little bouncing back nice chocolate notes nice brown sugar nice cinnamon really subdued orange peel notes 
hardly get them. Light leather. That leather is still there. Nutmeg. Black coffee. Full bodied. But if you go slow, you'll be okay. Have something on your stomach. You'll be okay. Even though this is a lot more Lahiro nicotine. Finish is unchanged. But the cigar really bounced back, and I like it now. I like it a lot. Really good brown sugar and chocolate notes. They are just really nice. I would just flip it back up to 95 because it's good. Not much else you can say. Overall score is 94.67. Not too shabby. You know, the last few reviews, last few weeks, we've had some really good scores, really good cigars. Look back the last four or five, they're all winners. There's a lot of it there, you just have to look. But uh, that will do it. The new Roma Craft Neanderthal LH 94.67